Hey everybody and welcome back to Crafty Made Easy. For this tutorial, we will be making some resin alphabets using the glow in the dark paint. So stand by. <laughs> because I had my respirator mask on because I already had my epoxy mixed um so that's why I sound a little funny so don't put it in the comments I sound funny um that's why so for this project you'll need some medicine cups to mix your paint in some glow-in-the-dark paint epoxy and uh, alphabet mold anything else I may use and I forgot to mention I will put in the description box below all right so let's get started um so I already had my epoxy mixed up because I was using it for another project. So I already have it mixed up and ready to go. Um, I have my glow in the dark paint. Let me get my flashlight because you have to charge the paint with a flashlight. And let's see what colors we're going to use. I think I'm going to use some blue and pink. Yeah, we'll use blue and pink. So I'm just going to take a little bit of the glow-in-the-dark paint. Let me get a popsicle stick. All right. Okay, so I'm just gonna take some of the paint. I'm gonna take the paint from the lid too. No need to waste any paint. And I got the glow-in-the-dark paint, I believe from Amazon. I'm just going to take a little bit, oops, I'm going to put it in the cup. I might need a little bit more. This is thick. It's really thick. Uh, and then I'm just going to put it in the flashlight. So I'm just going to hold the flashlight to it for a little bit to charge it up. Now, like I said in my other video, it did not tell me how long I had to charge it up, but I didn't do the other one very long and it worked. So, well, you can actually see it. Um, oh, wow. Like it goes in regular paint, but you can see like the dots on it when you're charging it up. And it's um, pretty cool. All right, so that is charged up. And I'm going to just go ahead and do the blue one. Take this. I'm going to do the same thing. Just take, scoop it up. Put it on the side. Scoop it. It needs to, okay. <laughs> I was trying to see if the bottle actually had how long you charge it up for, but it doesn't say either. So, um, it just says it needs charging to afford to glow. So I'm just putting it on, the light on it again. It's pretty cool how it works. Alright, let me make sure I get the top of it. All right, so make sure it's glowing. Ooh, it is. All right, so then the next step is I'm going to pour epoxy into the cup. Oh, I don't think I said gloves. Make sure you have on gloves. And then I'm going to take this and I'm going to mix it into the epoxy.
24 hours probably a little less than that actually um these are nice and hardened so i'm going to go ahead and demold them now i made a big mess especially with the ones that were um the epoxy was already like curing so do not look <laughs> too hard at the mess i made but we are going to see what these letters look like coming out of the mold all right, and these ones, was it, I think these four, where the uh, epoxy was already like um, curing, because the faux rizzle, you don't have a lot of working time, probably about 30 minutes to um, work with it. So just be mindful of the epoxy that you're working with. Um, I know Amazing Clear Cash, you have a little bit of time in the Paduo that I used. Um, you can go almost up to like 45 minutes to an hour to, you know, work with that. All right, see, it has like some peeling and stuff all around it. Yeah, so I'll just have to take my um, X-Acto knife and just clean it up like that. Just kind of be careful when you're using your X-Acto knife, so... It comes off pretty easily, the excess epoxy. So if you ever get into a situation where it is like that, just take your X-Acto knife and just run it across it and it'll peel right off. I'll finish the rest of cleaning that up off camera. Um, the A. And the blue came out really chunky. It didn't mix very well in the epoxy. I don't know why. Um, it came out really chunky, so mm, it gives it like an extra effect. It looks like um, something is in it. I'm not sure if you can really see that. Yeah, you see how it looks like little blue things that's just floating in there. And the F, I just have to peel that off. All right, so those are the the T, I'm just going to throw that away because it didn't. The T, I didn't put enough in there, so I'm not even going to worry about that one. But here we are. Our alphabets. Right, and you'll just key them up the same way you do the other ones. Let me see. Um, my drill is. And I got this drill off of Amazon again. Um... I'll put it in the description box below, but if you look at my other videos, it's on those as well. You just kind of put the drill bit here, move it down, pull it back out, and then you get your um, your key thingy, your eye hook. One second, y'all. I was not prepared. Alright, so you get your eye hook 
and you just put it into the um, hole that you just drilled. And someone asked me in the comments before, have I had any issue with them cracking or anything where you drill the hole? And I don't. I have not had any issues and I have not had anyone complain about it cracking or anything like that. Um, I have um, watched a video um, of a YouTuber who was doing them and she stated that hers cracked. So, um, I mean, it is possible, but I have not had that issue. So you just put your eye hook in there and I purchased these off of Amazon. They came in different colors. So I have the rose gold, um, the bronze, the gold, silver, and black. So it came with a ton of them. Like I think two of each color. Yeah, because that's another rose gold. Yep, two of each color. So you just put your eye hook in there as such. And then you would get your jump ring. No, let me get my rose gold. Um, let's see. Jump rings. One second. All right, so I'm going to take my rose gold jump ring. And just want to open it up as such. And these ones are kind of thin. Um, I do have rose gold split rings down there. Um, I purchased them from a um, vendor. She sells um, different things, beads, um, charms, jump rings, adapters. She sells a bunch of different things. I'll put her um, information down in the description box below. And she um, ships pretty fast. So that is should not be a worry if you're going to purchase from her and you need something pretty fast um these rose gold ones the thin ones i don't know where i brought these from i think i brought these from amazon and they're really thin but they kind of go along with what i'm doing right now um but try not to get the really thin ones if you cannot get you know if you can help it and if you do get the thin ones try to double them up so they won't break or bend or anything like that um, i'm just doing this basically just to kind of show you what you can do um, i have a rose gold keychain but you see it doesn't have any link so right now i'm just kind of making a link from all of the jump rings And you can make it as long or as short as you want it. I might have got these from um, Joann's. I don't remember where I got these from. I bought <laughs> came in a box with a couple colors in there one of them broke during delivery so that was a pain but I, I like the um little things something different all right and then there you go there is your keychain right there and then let's see if they actually glow in the dark when they were curing, I was looking at them, and they were glowing. So let's see if they are still glowing today. Let's see, y'all. Let me turn all these lights off. Turn my other light off. Make sure they're in the camera. And ta-da! Uh, the K and the J um aren't very bright you can see it's glowing on one side i put mica powder 
I mixed mica powder in with the J and the K, so maybe that's why they're not as bright. But the other ones are really bright. So the glow in the dark works. Um, yeah, let me go ahead and turn this light back on so I'm not talking to y'all in the dark. <laughs> But as you see, the glow-in-the-dark works, but if you mix it up with something else, it doesn't um, glow as bright. So that was good to know. I just wanted to kind of see what would happen. So we saw it didn't um, glow as bright as the other ones. But um, that is the end of this tutorial. Y'all let me know what y'all think about this video. Um, if you liked it, go ahead and hit that thumbs up button. If you are interested in seeing other um, videos from me, go ahead and hit that subscribe button and hit the notification bell to be notified when I drop new videos. All right, y'all. Until next time, peace.